Professor Taylor, could you tell us a bit about the selection system and the school entry exams in and around the Slough area? Yes, we have a number of grammar schools in Slough and some nearby. And the grammar schools are allowed to select pupils uh, by means of a test. And that test is called the 11 plus exam. Now, the 11 plus exam tests subjects which children are not taught in their normal state schools, though some of the independent schools, the prep schools, they do teach some of that. The subjects which are tested in the 11 plus exam are verbal reasoning and nonverbal reasoning neither of which is part of the national curriculum, which is what the schools teach. So, um, and that's my role, is I provide the service of teaching children verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning so that they're ready for these 11 plus exams. So um, can you explain just a little bit what the difference is, what is uh, the difference between verbal and non-verbal reasoning? Non-verbal reasoning involves pictures. Now in non-verbal reasoning in this area there are six specific types. One of them is odd one out. So there are a set, set of pictures and one of them doesn't belong with the others. And so there are particular tricks if you like or techniques or ways of thinking and looking at it to work out the answer and that's what I teach. There are five other types. Another of them is called sequences or serial relationships where children have to say what is the missing picture from a given sequence and so on. Um, so that involves being able to observe a picture in fine detail and then also to figure out what the pattern is in that set of pictures um, and that is non-verbal reasoning. I see, so basically what, if I understand this right, the actual 11 plus and school entry exams for the grammar schools is not about the academic subjects that the pupils have been taught, it's more about their understanding of the uh, types of ways of thinking and the ways of actually comprehending things? Yes, I think you've put that very well, Chris, because it isn't testing school subjects the way that national curriculum uh, is taught. It is testing, and I think it does it reasonably well, it is testing something slightly different, because there are children who do very well in their SATs, but don't do very well in 11+, plus, and vice versa. There are children who are not doing particularly well in school, and then they do very well in 11+, plus. so it clearly is testing something different. And it is what you've said, Chris, it is their ability to reason with language and with shape. One of the most critical questions we get asked is, why do some children fail their 11 plus? We felt this was such an important question that we've put together a dedicated interview with Sir Taylor, which you can get immediate access to. Just enter your details on the box on the right. Because if you want to know what the critical factors are that are likely to affect your child's chances of passing, this is definitely the interview for you.